everyone, welcome back to Playing Quietly. My name is Ryan and today I am bringing you another Elden Ring guide. Today I'm going to be showing you where to get the Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearings so that we can better prepare for the Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC that is going to be dropping tomorrow. Now, before we get started, I would highly recommend that you come over to the Weeping Peninsula to this area over here so that we can pick up a blunt damage weapon in the form of the Morning Star. This is going to be an extremely useful weapon in a number of different areas. So after we have our blunt damage weapon, we are going to be going to Lyernia of the Lakes, and we're going to be looking for the Rhea Lucaria Crystal Tunnel that is going to be in the northeastern section here. Once we are in the tunnel, we are simply going to make our way through until we get to the last boss. Now, once we get to the last boss, we are going to use any kind of blunt damage weapon that we have and that the boss here is going to be extremely susceptible to blunt damage and they will eventually shatter. So you see there we have shattered the boss and now anytime we hit them, they will take stagger damage. Once we take out that boss, we are going to receive our first Smithing Stone Miner's Bell Bearing. The next one is very easy to get. We're going to be coming up here into the Altus Plateau, and we are going to be looking for the Sealed Tunnel. Now, once you enter the Sealed Tunnel, there is going to be an invisible wall here that we're just going to strike. We're going to run past this guy over here, through these boxes, and the chest containing the Bell Bearing is right here. If you need a guide on how to quickly reach Altus Plateau, I will link one in the description below. Our third bell bearing is going to be located in the Zamor Ruins. Now starting out from the Site of Grace, we are simply going to hug this rock wall in front of us and follow it until we find the ruins with a hole in the ground. And in the chest is going to be the third bell bearing. For the final bell bearing, we are going to need to make our way to the crumbling Faramazula, and we're gonna to need to take out the Godskin duo at the Dragon Temple altar. Once we kill the duo, we will automatically receive the final bell bearing. And there you go, you get the last smithing stone miner's bell bearing. And of course, once we have any of the bell bearings, we can turn them into the twin finger readers in the round table hold located here. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, hopefully I have earned your subscription. Don't forget to check back for lots more Elden Ring content coming soon. But until then, we will see you guys next time. Have yourselves a good one.